Hey there Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This is Jacqueline with Universal Intuition and today's video is going to be your love reading for the month of September. Thank you all so much for your support last month on my videos. I really appreciate that. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And let's see what we got. What do we have for Scorpio in the month of September for your love reading? What do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September? Let me do one more. All right, Scorpio, first card out is going to be your energy, and you guys got the Nine of Swords in reverse. So I'm seeing in your recent past that you guys have had a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of anxiety about, um, this is a love reading, so about your partner or someone who, that, who you're in love with. Um, but with this being in the reverse, I feel like you're coming out of it. Um, it is September now, so let's say goodbye to August. Let's say goodbye to all those negative feelings. Um because it's a it's a new dawn it's a new day is what i'm hearing like um you're so important and so wonderful and so powerful um you know you guys i know that you guys are water signs and you get a lot of messages in your dreams a lot of you do and um you guys have i feel like have definitely been having some nightmares uh recently or in the recent past and that is all over with now. Like, this is really good. Like, you guys are coming out of it. it. The nine means that you're closing that chapter in your life. So that's wonderful. Next card is them um, and how they feel about you. And they got the eight of, uh, eight of wands in reverse. So they're just having a hard time communicating right now is what I'm seeing. Um, they have a lot of passion and love for you, absolutely, but the communication is kind of off, and that's definitely what has made you feel like, oh my god, like they're not talking to me, or they don't like me, or it's made you, Scorpio, feel really, really insecure, um, because their communication has been really off, or they've just been not communicating in the way that you want them to, maybe not enough, or for some of them, it, they might be overwhelming you, so however you want to take that. Um, this is all about communication and with this being in the reverse is it's just been off recently so all right and the mutual energy between the two of you is the knight of swords so um, again you know communication like you guys are um, mutually feeling like something's got to change and like you're even willing to cut things out of your life even if this person's not treating you the way that you deserve to be treated scorpios y'all are so freaking fantastic like i just love scorpios like y'all are just such amazing people like i never want to see y'all like this ever i don't want to see anyone like this but especially not you guys so um you know and, and you guys know that you know that this person has been not communicating with you and it's time to cut the cord is what I'm seeing like cut cut the cord with that person if they're not communicating in the way that you want to you're the one on your high horse here you're the one that knows deep down because y'all are super intuitive and really really smart you guys know that this something needs to change and it's time to it's time to go it's time to move on to something bigger and better Okay, and then you guys, um, as your final outcome, you guys got the star card in reverse. So your dreams are so close to being fulfilled. And I say so close because it is in the reverse, which means that there's, you know, there's some stagnant energy there. And I definitely seeing that, am seeing that with these two cards being in reverse here. Um, bottom of the deck, though, is you guys got the Empress. And this is for you because this is your reading. You guys, um, again, I'm just feeling like I'm just seeing y'all coming out of this huge, um, like, mental struggle. Um, you've really just been kind of having some anxiety about the person you're with or your the person you're interested in. 
your, your soul partner, whatnot. Um, but it, it's time to release that. It's time to let it go. And you guys are already doing that. Um, I'm seeing that here. It's the, it's the beginning of September. It's September the 1st today. So you guys are already know, you already know that you need to get rid of that energy and you need to just, it needs to go bye-bye because here with the outcome, like your dreams are so close to coming true. The star card is all about balance, self-love, um, relationships between two people, um, you know, is what I'm feeling with the two jugs of water here being poured out, like, um, you know, you guys are all about balance, and you guys are a water sign too, so, um, make sure that you're, I'm hearing that you guys just need to nurture yourselves a little bit more. It's okay to be selfish. It's okay to fill your own cup because once you do, I feel like you're going to start feeling so much better and getting rid of all that negative energy. And then once you release all that, beautiful things are coming your way. So that's awesome. All right, Scorpio, let's see what the angels have for you. What do we have for Scorpio for the month of September in love? What messages do we have for Scorpio? Month of September. Love reading. Ooh. I'm going to do one more. Beautiful. You guys are loved. Like I said, you guys are so special and such wonderful, wonderful, beautiful souls. Um, I just adore you guys. Um, I just think y'all are so special and obviously so do your angels and the universe and the whole world. Like everyone just, like when they see you, Scorpio, they're just like, oh, that person is so cool. Or they're just, you know, like they always, like Scorpios always have it going on, you know, in my opinion. Like I think y'all are just really awesome. So, um, and also, so do, like I said, so, so do your angels, the universe. Um, so just remember that and know that you are so special and so wonderful and you don't, de you don't deserve to be going through this hard time. Like I know we all have to go through, um, challenges and difficult times in our life. Um, but if someone's not serving you and someone's not communicating with you or blowing you off or, you know, or, or, or opposite, if they're being way too overbearing, like if they're just, if they're freaking you out, like on the communication level, like you just, um, need to get on your horse and grab your sword and say, bye bye <laughs> All right, Scorpio, I hope this finds you well. I love you all so, so much. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Sending you all my love. Bye, Scorpio.